Hello and welcome back to Savin Master and the Leave'em Inn. My name is Spange. Welcome back to the greatest hub in all the land. I have a few new members of staff to introduce you to today. We have a new waitress on the ground floor, Gabby. Thank you, Gabby, for uh, saying hi in the comments in the last video. We have Torjean as well. Thank you very much for saying hi in the comments. Torjean is taking care of the hotel and the third floor there. Or second floor, as the game calls it. Then we have Momo serving drinks down here as well on the first floor. Thank you, Momo. We also have new chef JK up on the uh, first floor kitchen, uh, sharing there with Bill in this tight, confined space. I'm sure it'll be fine. They're both fan of mutton chops, apparently. <laughs> and among our researchers, we now have Bathory as well. Uh, thank you very much for all the comments in the last episode. Welcome along to my new members of staff. Thank you, everybody, for all the wonderful comments. And as you can see, yes, my researchers are still very sad people. They're very upset. 13% happiness. I keep putting their salaries up and hoping that I can get them leveled up to a point where they stop being sad. But Owen here, he is max level, level 10, and he went from 100% to now just over 50% on 82 salaries. I mean, he's like one of the highest paid employees in the inn. And they are all miserable bastards. I don't know whether they just don't like enjoy each other's company or something, but there are six researchers in this room and I have no idea how to make them happy in their work. Other than, I don't know, more researchers. I'm not sure what will actually do it, but... Uh, I need to think of something, because otherwise I'm just never going to level up researchers. They're always going to be miserable little sods. <clears throat> well, we'll see what happens. Right. I have a slight problem here in that uh, Johnny 2.0, not 2.0, Johnny 1.0 was 2.0, but then went back to... Yeah. Anyway, Johnny, um, he's getting unhappy again. And I think it's the workload. It is the sheer amount of drinks that they are serving a day. Um, so if I hit up next day, we'll see we do 369. The best number of guests per day. We have a seating capacity of 189, right? Uh, between the two floors. So, you know, it's a good sort of 140 or so guests that they are serving per floor. And I'm thinking that there's just too much work for these guys because also Draconis is about 50% happy as well doing his best no doubt i either need to reduce the amount of seats that i have per floor or increase the number of bars that i have per floor uh, so we have unlimited bars now unlocked we are about to unlock another 28 guests per day not that we can even um see that many but um then we are moving on to toilets outside gardens new floor and unlimited kitchens we're very close to the sort of end of the, of the research tree there, but I suspect given the amount of research points required going up so high, once we get a new floor, we can dedicate a much bigger room to them. But uh, toilets, we're going to have to eat into this floor space as well to add some toilets in. So naturally, I'm going to reduce the amount of tables here anyway. But then it's going to go back up again because we're going to have another floor. I'm really thinking like the top floor is just going to be a massive hotel. I don't know. With <laughs> And like just get rid of these two rooms and dedicate them to just researchers you know because the amount of research that we're going to need i don't know but um uh somebody said that the garden when we unlock the beer garden thing that goes over here across the road so that would be nice but it also means that waitresses will need to go over the road so it's a little bit more traveled time for them there's lots of like little kind of difficulties and, and nuances and stuff like going on now with these days i'm just gonna fast forward and stuff because the problems start to happen around about 5 p.m um and we got the little the little pink bars above their heads again so that you can see like how the waiting times here um kicking in uh this is a reasonably busy day check the top floor here this was particularly problematic now the wait wait the waiting staff that i have i have quite a lot of waitresses per floor you know there's six on floor zero and I think we've got five on floor one. So it may make sense that floor one is the one that's struggling, but you would see that say that and then you see this sort of stuff happening on floor zero. Yeah, we are getting unhappy customers on busy days. 
But actually, I'm not, now that I've started recording, but I mean, look at the bar. Stacked. Absolutely stacked. Yeah, look, almost an angry customer there. There, he's going to go. He's going to go. He's definitely going to go. And if somebody gets a drink to this guy, like, now, he's gone. He's out. Yep, over. Angry. And that'll be the first. The dominoes will start falling now. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. So we do have problems. We have problems either in the serving drinks, how long it takes to serve drinks, or the waiting of another one's going to go over here, look. Bing, gone. And she's just delivered the drinks. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm thinking that we need another bar on both floors to spread the drinks load out. But that introduces the question of where the smeg are we going to put another bar to do that. There's the research. We still made 4,000 without even trying on that one. So that was not bad. Um, so let's go with toilets then. Because I think some remodeling is in order, guys. And it's a shame because it's so beautiful <laughs> already. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> um, let's start on floor zero. What I'm thinking is we budge the kitchen up a little bit here because we've got quite a big kitchen here. And I'm not sure it's really necessary considering we can cram all that we need for a kitchen into this galley kitchen here. And perfect, it works perfectly fine. So we're going to move some stuff around here, okay? Um, let's go. We're going to cram it. We're basically going to take the wall across here. We're going to take this wall out, put another bar here. So it kind of joins up with this one. I think it will look pretty sick. Uh, and then maybe put the pass in the wall at the end or something. Uh, and then just like a secret door for the, the chefs to get in and out. Of. I don't know. <laughs> they don't. They actually can go. They can just glitch through the pass. I've seen it. Uh, right. So we'll move the grill over there. Uh, except we can't because of floating items, so just do that for now. We need to move the pass, and it's going to form part of the wall, so we'll see if we can make that work. The bar is quite a big chonker. It's like three proper sections big, so the pass might actually have to go over here. These decorative items, uh, if I can't find a place for them, they might just have to go. I mean, they'll, they'll go on the new wall when we put it up, I guess. Is that going to go there? Nope. Move the chef's hat. There we go. We'll move that back a bit. 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 Okay, so we'll move the big giant painting onto a wall. So this is the problem now. I like every wall has something. I've done something to almost every wall. Um, <laughs> there's a space on that wall by the band. So you can go over there temporarily. Ah, oh, I hate that. Come on, just just go on the wall. Just no. Okay. I'm denied. It, it flicks back and stuff. Well, oh, we'll have an empty wall up here somewhere. There you go. You can go there for now. So this wall's coming down. We'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of this, and then. We take the wall out. Oh! We take this wall out as well because we're going to be changing that. And we're going to be putting a new wall in here. Okay. And a door at the end there. Now, I, I don't know about the door or we just add the pass there. Because what we can do is we can just slot that there. 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 <laughs> right where the takeaway window is and um yeah that will work technically you know they will they will work that and then, then we could get a bar a new bar oh i wish i could flip it if you could flip it around so it was like opposite that way you know but i i don't think i can do that and it looks like this thing is too long it's going to conflict with the waitress spots i can't actually put it there Ah, oh, which possibly means that was entirely a waste of time. Mm. We need somewhere for a new bar. A bit like that. There we go. Uh, so move the kitchen around. The pass is now just through the door there. So can we fit now the bar? Oops. Yes, we can. We can have another bar. Bingo. Look at that. We got another wall there. Yep. 
Lovely. So, okay. We'll add a... We'll keep the texture of the floor the same over here. Uh, the only drama is I've had to move the fire extinguisher out of the kitchen, but it, it's okay. It, it'll work there. Just about. The point is that we now have another bar that we're going to have to buy all the barrels for. Boom. So that it can also function of course we have plenty of capital to do this uh, let's hire a new bar bartender we all missed a six drinks over here quite slow at pouring though they're all quite slow at pouring apart from mr two drinks down here hugo two drinks that's all he can carry but he does it really fast <laughs> yeah i think frederick here is our man so we're gonna hire frederick and uh he is gonna be renamed vermilion Watch out, everybody. <laughs> Welcome, Vermillion! So they leave them in. You're serving floor one, not one and two. Good job. Okay. So that's that. We have a new bar. New bar is born on the ground floor. It's in the same location. So, I mean, these guys are going to be fine. These guys, the right corner here, have got a long travel distance with the waitress to get to. But we will inevitably do our best, as always, to get there as quickly as possible. Let's do a little decoration, and then I think we're good down here. My only real worry is that I've extended the, the travel time for the food. The floor zero here, the ground floor. I mean, your, your entrance to the kitchen is there, and your furthest table away is, is a long old way away. We'll see how they perform. Let's find out. Well, it's a rainy day anyway, but we're still at 326 per day. More people than we can actually seat. So it's going to be busy. Here we go, about 8pm. When we start seeing problems, we have some rather red bars on the first floor. Let's get drinks going, people. Bar is stacking up over here. I think we've solved the problems on the ground floor, though. There are still some long waiting times, it would appear. This lady here is probably when waiting the longest. Uh, it's closing time anyway. She's run out of time. And for some reason, she doesn't leave angry after not being served at all. <laughs> I'll take it. That was a very expensive day. We did buy a lot of adventurers. Salaries are now up to almost two grand. Refills cost a lot. And the musicians at 400 because we got a four-man band now, which increases our waiting, uh, the waiting time that they're willing to wait. So... We've got our food though, it is absolutely banging. It is off the charts with 3.76 stars. Presumably of five, right? But then our event dishes are kind of sucking, really. If I wanted to get five stars, I'd have to run a bunch of really unprofitable events, you know? I wouldn't earn enough. They wouldn't earn more than the salaries that my staff takes. That's <laughs> problematic. So, okay, so the extra bar there. Hopefully, Johnny. Happiness will start to go up a little bit now that he's got some assistance from Vermillion. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't know at this point if it's really making much of a difference. Certainly we got no angry customers that time, but it's a rainy day. So can we get another bar upstairs? Because as we can see, Dragonus is got a little unhappy smiley on his face. Let's increase his salary a little bit just to keep him happy a little bit longer. If we can get another bar up here as well, then I think that will solve that. Now it's a question of where the smeg do we put that? Um... I'm looking over here in this corner here would be my thoughts on where another bar would go. And that is trimming yet more tables. I'm thinking I might move the adventures upstairs. I move the adventures upstairs. They can go here for now. That's not where they'll go because the toilets are going to go there. But if I put them upstairs, I keep moving them out of the way, basically. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I can trim this room down. And boom, just like that. Uh, by moving that wall in, we can fit another bar in there. Uh, so I moved a couple of the waitresses over and just hired another barman I'd like to introduce you to. Here he is. Revian! <laughs> we have Revian on the second bar at the top. Uh, him and Draconis will no longer get on famously. Hopefully that will ease the burden on that bar. We'll use this bar as well. And of course we have to stop this one up with all the barrels as well. And refill them. Boom. Okay. We will see what happens now that we have two bars on each floor. Just hope that that actually 
We don't have any more angry customers. Let's find out. Oh dear. Well, instead of it all piling up on one bar, it's now piling up on two bars. Can we serve some drinks, please? Can we, can we please serve some customers? And it is, I mean, this, this lady is very close to the bar. So it's not necessarily distance. I think I might just need more waitresses. Oh dear. Somebody get that man a drink. Somebody get that man a drink. Right now. Right. Unhappy. Oh, angry, 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 angry. How has this happened? Yeah, now it's too late. He's gone. Oh, boy. Even with two bars. Another angry. Two bars. I mean, the travel distance back to the food and stuff is not helping. More angries, more angries. It's these guys over here. I feel like I need to move this bar over here somewhere. I'm just not sure how I'm going to do that. Unless I put it right in this corner here, that might work. If I could redesign this pub, I would put this kitchen here. And have the tables and the bar around it. Because, honestly, travel time for the waitresses is so important. So it's all on floor zero. Floor one, no angries. Okay. So we can say floor one is good. So is, is it all... It's all drinks as well. Yep. 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 Okay. So I think we need to have a look at floor one here. Because we have... We have Lainey, of course. Dammy, Jinxie, and Gabby on drinks. High priority. They're Jinxie. They could probably take you off of high priority food. I think what I'm going to do is have three waitresses. Jinxie, Gabby, and Lainey just on drinks. And then I'll have... Gabby, Dinkers, and Miso on food and takeout. That should solve it, right? Let me know that. We'll see what happens. Get him, Iamor. Yeah, good lad. Apparently, we have 469 guests a day at the moment. Oh my god. I think we need to put our drink prices up. Drink prices are going up, folks. 204. That's more manageable. <laughs> Damn, that really cut it down. Woo! The Lever Mim now has some seriously pricey drink. <laughs> I mean, it's 11, 11 coins for a wine. You can almost get a room for that. <laughs> 13 for mead? Damn! This bloody greed inflation, this is what it is. Honestly. Guys, guys, guys. I'm seeing some seriously red bars over here. Okay, that was taken care of. He was waiting for a food order. That's been taken care of. I didn't even see that. Okay. It's the it's the food. It's the food girls. Alright, okay. So they, they're, they're waiting to order food. But... It's not drinks this time. Well, it is. It is and it isn't. I don't know. There's a lot of red bars. Angry. Angry, 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 three, only three angries, but all still on floor zero. And it gets serious, got some freaking logistics problems in this pump today. And it was, it was drinks again. It was all drinks. There's still angry people leaving my pub right at the end of the day. And it's still on the ground floor. Oin. He's maximum level. He, he, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to have to fire them all, I think, and rehire my entire research team. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. They just keep being unhappy. The rest of my staff are now wonderfully happy. Um, it's just these researchers. Okay, so floor zero, five unhappy customers. All raising hand to order food and never getting that. We need we need more waitresses. I can't really I can't really bounce around that anymore. Um, so I think one more food waitress will do. Let's hire someone who is fast on their feet, not carrying. Oh look here here Brian, three point eight meters a second speed, not carrying. No tips, but. You're hired. Plus, she attracts more, more people. Research team, you're fired. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get out. Get out. I didn't even have to. I didn't even care that I have to pay. I should have 
probably just let him quit, shouldn't I? <laughs> You're all fired anyway. <laughs> as, a, as a result of sacking all of the staff, I achieved to make sure all staff is above 80% happiness. <laughs> Get him! Got him! Get to work, you bunch of researching nerds! Yeah, not that you've got anything to research right now. We just need to serve 10 guests and we've got toilets. And we've got a whole new kettle of fish to deal with. With a whole kind of having to add toilets to every floor. Now that's fine. Up here, we got we got this area here. We can we can put some toilets there. Uh, on this floor... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where we're going to add toilets here. We're going to have to eat into some of our... Our oh, floor space here, we're probably cordon. Uh, I can't cordon that off because where the stairs are. May have to draw that line across there. Okay. Here we go. Toilets a necessity that even good tavern needs to have. Customers will occasionally use them. And if waiting is too long because there are not enough toilets, they will leave angry. So, I don't know what toilets really add other than something else to do. You know? Um, but... Without them, they now leave angry, even though <laughs> I've functioned this long without toilets. They've been perfectly happy for the most part. Okay, so we need to immediate intervention with toilets then because we cannot um, run the pub. I mean, it's 12 p.m., so it's halfway through. This 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 floor is easy enough. I'm going to get rid of these two tables down here, basically, which is going to piss these people off. They're going to leave angry immediately because I'm taking their tables away. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. You'll um, get over it, I, I suspect. So we're going to build... Yeah. <laughs> There's little uh, angry faces. Angry! Um, oh, there's a thing there. Angry face! So build a wall across. Build a wall across. Can't. Rug. Somebody left a rug in the way. Whose rug was this? Whose rug is this? Build a wall across. There we go. Door. In there, okay. Um, we also need a new floor texture, something toilet appropriate. I feel like that one is good enough, okay. And then, are they under um, they're not under their own thing, maybe they're under special. They are look toilet, we fit two right next to each other. Bang, bang, yeah. And we need a wash basin. What you had to put this item on a wall. Pretty sure it was there, buddy. Okay, we'll put them. Is that not a wall? I don't know. What constitutes a wall in your freaking eyes game? I'll tell you. Is that okay? You all right now? You happy? Sure? Ready to yell at me some more? No? All right. Good. Let's move on, shall we? Very good. Bit of decoration in our toilet. Let's be honest. It's looking a little drab in here. There's no light, for example. Let's, let's put a light... Oh, yes. Everybody needs to be able to see when they're doing the business. Uh, so that's good. We have a potted plant in here. I know there's not a huge amount of room for the plant of the potted variety, but I feel like we can have one. I don't know if that's going to set the plant on fire, but let's hope not. Um, and it would be nice to have a little bit of... Son of a bastard. I don't know why I bother. All this clipping into things nonsense is just... It's soul-destroying. Right, that window there is going to have to go. Because, uh... Otherwise, they'll have some kind of keeping Tom, no doubt. <laughs> At some point going, Hello? <laughs> what do we have here, then? Um, and that would be bad. That would be very bad. Uh, but there we go. We have toilets on floor one. I'm just going to unpause real quickly so that we can witness... These angry people will leave. <laughs> How dare you take our table away? Rawr! <laughs> but they managed to get out okay. That's the important thing. And uh, I have a new wall here to hang a painting on. So uh, do that. Bingo. That's lovely, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? All right, get out then. Okay, so that's floor one taken care of. We have toilets there. Floor two. Well, that's a little trickier. I mean... Yeah, we're going to have to trim down on table sizes, I think, or just lose an entire section of mezzanine, maybe. That would blow. 
<laughs> she really looks like she's taking a crap. <laughs> I know. I've moved her table. Uh, that is a deep squat, sir, you've got going on there. It's a very deep squat. It's an impressive squat you've got going on there, but it genuinely looks like... I apologise, madam. I didn't mean to uh, disturb you. Clearly in this time of trial and... I don't know. Oh, man. We're going to put the toilet there, do you think? We're going to put the toilet there on the, uh, on, the, on the second floor. First floor, whatever. These porta potties are just great, are they? All right, so I, I moved this table. Uh, I deleted it. There's no moving. I, d I deleted the table. And then uh, I put it back. But uh, yeah, we, we obviously got some angry people as a result of that light change in decor. Yeah. <laughs> They're not happy. <laughs> Play. Angry. Bye. Oh well. They'll be back. I got toilets now. <laughs> we have loos. We have holes in boards. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if actually anybody ever uses these things. Um yeah. Proper tavern now. Ultimately is reducing our table count. We are now down to 157 seat capacity. Quite a big drop, really. There, somebody used the toilet. Stinky. Stinky. I love the way it blurs them out. <laughs> bit of modesty, a bit of privacy for our little uh, little pixel friends. Somebody's gone into... Oh, occupied. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of toileting going on. Fantastic. Excellent. I'm glad that uh, we have the facilities now to, you know, keep people in longer. To leave them in. In the leave them in. Two bars per floor, toilets per floor, apart from the hotel level, which it's not saying is a problem, so I'm going to leave it for now. Um, but yeah, research-wise, we need to start on new floors. I'm just skipping over these things. I don't think we can do the unlimited kitchens, unfortunately, but uh, that will be something that we'll need to do. The freaking level 3 fire extinguishers are extreme, man. Just pay for the good wax. Yeah, cheapskates. Level three kitchen items, and then we are really onto the final straight there, aren't we? Here's the thing with the uh, the running the bar thing that I've just come to realise as well. The hotel, I got four rooms. I have half of a floor dedicated to hotels. This is the this is my hotel. Just this half of the yeah. Um, no matter like adding more tables and stuff like that for floor two to deal with floor one to deal with sorry isn't making any difference to my drinks bottom line the hotel produces 1340 coins reliably every single day food and drink is well it's about it's more than double that it's about four grand between the two of them so um but there's there's two whole floors dedicated to that and there's half a floor dedicated to that the hotel is more profitable. You get 737 bonuses. I suppose that's tips as well, which you wouldn't get, I suppose. But I'm not talking about shutting down food and drinks altogether. What I'm thinking about is I turn floor one into more hotel. And we just have the bottom floor is our restaurant and bar. Like any other normal hotel. I mean, it'll jam it out. Like every night it'll be absolutely rammed, right? But we can up the drink prices to just reduce the number of people to come in and make the most profit out of those that do. Meanwhile, we'll have two floors of hotel. The beard stroking is strong. The big brain moment may be here. I need to do a lot of selling and stuffling and, and rejigging and, and budgery pokery and stuff. And there's a huge initial outlay with hotels. You've got a lot of money to spend in, on the rooms. But then I don't have to pay so many staff. Like chefs, extra chefs and extra waitresses to run an entire another floor of bar and restaurant. They just have it there. And then if you just have rooms. And once they're done, they're done. If you've bought them, then that's it. You just keep them clean and bang. Another 225. Look, 252 coins each room. 
I don't know why this one's 220 and that one's 112, but they seem reasonably happy with it. <laughs> yeah, there's always someone in them. <laughs> I don't know, man. This whole running a bar and restaurant thing. I'm not sure it's really worth it. I mean, it'd be a sad day to just fire a lot of staff. It really will be. But at the end of the day, what counts is the bottom line. What also counts, however, is the events. Okay, so these are how I make most of my money. We have the Merlin, the wizard event, which pays 9,000 and only needs to serve 91 guests. It's brilliant. It is the best, most powerful one ist yet. However, there are more. There's the prince visit, which we need to do. And there's also the king and queen feast, the ultimate, the absolute piece de resistance of events, 15,000. But I need to serve 240 guests. That's a lot of guests. <laughs> and bearing in mind that between the two floors that I have at the moment, I have a seating capacity of 189, thanks to the third floor being tabled up like that in order to facilitate an event. So if I do do this and I just go straight for the hotel route, I will not be able to run events. It just will not have the seating capacity to do it. And that's that's rough. <laughs> that's rough. Oh, I'm not even sure. Well, it's my first royal event today. We have a prince visiting, and lots of soldiers, it would appear. I'm guessing this is his entourage, though I'm not seeing the prince yet. I might have missed him coming in, to be honest. There's a lot of people coming in today. Um, looks like the event has got 150 guests, and of course our one royal guest, so 110. Now I have 180, I think, capacity, 189, yes. So I can take them. This should be an easy one to achieve. I'm not seeing him sat on the tables with his troops. My guess is he's probably waltzed himself upstairs. There's my 10,000. Thank you very much. And he's sat on one of the... Yeah, in the Royal VIP box? Nope. Well, supposedly there's a prince around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, wait. There he is. <laughs> Your Majesty. <laughs> he looks... He looks like a scoundrel, to be honest. <laughs> he's got he's got a monobrow and 5 p.m. shadow. Not quite what I had expected, I, I must admit. Oh, and Mr. T's just sat next to him. Okay, cool. <laughs> I pity the fool that drinks next to the prince. <laughs> New floors research has just finished. Swish. But that was not bad. 15,000 we made in that one. Encouraging. I mean... My profits, ladies and gentlemen, let's, uh, let's not beat around the bush here. Uh, astronomical right now. I'm earning mwah, amounts of money. I <laughs> know, uh, <all> right? <laughs> anyway, um, so I need to go up yet another level. And I need to remove all these researchers out of this room. Put a bar up here so that it can serve all these tables. Because these are getting angry at the moment. Um, and add some more tables to it. So I need to add some stairs in, first of all. And I'm thinking we put them here, basically. Yeah, that would work. So, and then we create a room upstairs for the researchers to do their thing. And then the rest of it is just hotel. Like that, there's our new floor, isn't it wonderful? And there's our stairs, lovely stuff. All right, let's take this wall out. Yeah, and we're gonna have to move some stuff around later as well. But first of all, let's build these guys a new room, all their own. This is a freaking giant medieval building. <laughs> I think there's quite a nice big fat research room. I want lots of researchers in here because we're gonna have to eat through a lot of research. Okay, windows for days. Lovely, and then the rest. Hotel rooms. Here we go. Yeah, a bit like that for floor two. And now my researchers are on floor three, ready to get to work again. And as you can see, I've yammed them in there nice and tight. So we can get lots of more researchers. It's eating into my 100 and something or other. I can't even remember how much because I have so much money and money. Now to do the hotel rooms, however. Let's go. And voila. We have five new five-star hotel rooms. Yes, they are pretty much clones of each other. 
almost identical in every single way, but I am limited with the number of things that I can do in this room, and also the fact that they all have to have the exact same requirements in order to hit that five-star sweet spot. But there we go. Five new rooms. I've even created a little balcony out here, and I thought we could decorate once we have the upholstery set. I suppose for now, actually, we could probably just put some benches out here. The great thing about just putting some benches out here is that we don't actually need to, you know, make them work at all, really. Um, they will essentially just be visual thing. They will just be decoration, you know, they won't actually... Uh, you get it. So, there we go. A couple of little plotted plants. And we have ourselves a little roof garden balcony as well just for funsies. Look at that. Uh, I might actually change the floor texture out here to be this one, actually. There we go. Uh, that's nice. Very nice. Look at this four-story monstrosity. <laughs> this would not exist in medieval times, but all right. <laughs> um, so the last thing I need to do is place a waitress point up here um, to deal with the rooms. So that's under special, and we can just sort of pop her there. Basically, we've got we've got a couple of waitresses doing all the rooms already, and they're pretty good at it, to be honest, because they just they just sort of do it in the morning when the guests leave. They clean the rooms and it's done in seconds. So um, not too worried about that, but I'm going to hire one anyway. And it doesn't really matter about drink carrying, but speed here. So, Caitlin, we're going to hire you. We're going to find you. You're on floor one. OK. There she comes. Right, okay. So Caitlin's there. And then we pop her up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to tell Caitlin to just worry about cleaning and hotels. That's her job. She's not doing drinks. She's not doing food. She's not doing takeout. She's doing cleaning and hotel. That's it. And across the board. Um, actually, I'll take floor one off, uh, floor zero off because I don't want to go all the way down. And then, Anyway, so there we go. So, there we go. That's burnt us down to 67,000. <laughs> but well over half our money, but that's fine. It'll come back in no time at all. Because uh, we have events, none of which lined up with great. We have events that can make us very, very rich very quickly. Our last event to do is the King and the Queen Feast, which requires 240 tables. 240 capacity. And there's no way we're going to get 240 capacity. We have 209 capacity at the moment. But uh, I, I I mean, I could swap them out for, for four seaters in fairness. Eh, I could probably cram another two seater table over there or somewhere in here. But the, the point is, I don't want to. So I don't think we're ever going to get the king and queen in here, ladies and gentlemen. As, well, sadly, this is the final episode. This is the leave them in final call ladies and gentlemen it's been an absolute pleasure to play this game for you um i'm gonna see this day out we're gonna see how it performs and how much money we will make from our new hotel but uh thank you so much for joining me for this i really appreciate it and <laughs> it's a pretty little game that it just it was just really fun to play so uh thank you for joining me i hope you enjoyed as well basically it's been it's been great we're going to move on to something else next week, and um, we're going to find something else silly and fun to play. We'll see what we can come up with. But for now, we have 678 guests a day. I think it is once again time to increase our drink prices. Boom. Yeah. 401. That's more manageable. There we go. <laughs> That's definitely more manageable. Our prestige is up to 53,000 with the addition of those hotel rooms um, and I'm already I'm looking at these drink situations on the bar right now and uh, I'm starting to panic and this is floor zero and the one that should not be affected by any of the changes that I made and I made great great big changes to everything in order to get it to work so there's has no excuses serve those drinks guys Laney I'm watching you this guy right here right here give him a drink right now right now right now right now right now fuck Ah, what a note to end on unbelievable betrayal at the last moment by my own waiting staff who are incapable 
of delivering drinks on time. I, I just, I just, I, I don't know what to do anymore. Other than fire them. Fire them all. More angries are leaving. What am I running here? What am I running? Is this a joke to you? Do you not take this job seriously? You, what I have noticed, in fairness, in all seriousness, is the AI is a little bit crap. Uh, when it comes to... Look at all these angry faces. When it comes to pathing, right? And priorities. They, they'll they pick up a drink from the bar and they'll walk straight past tables um, that have, like, angry people on them. They'll go and serve someone on the other side of the pub and then they'll come back to the same table that they they just walked past. <laughs> and it's like, um... You could have saved that person being angry if you actually... Anyway, it doesn't really matter. We still made 60... Sixty dollars. That's all we made. <laughs> Sixty dollars. Sixty coins. <laughs> oh, we did spend a lot on adventuring though. Um, salaries are almost at two grand. Wax is over a grand. Refills and musicians. Oof. <laughs> that is. Thank <laughs> this. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's about fifty-seven thousand yesterday. Angry customers all over the place. Floor zero and. <laughs> I gotta go one more day because I gotta see what the next day brings for the hotel. Oh no, the hotel is full. Yes, and they only pay on the way out, don't they? So we have to see another day through to see what that is. Let's quickly see that. Owen's gonna quit anyway, so I need to replace him. Yes. Get him, Iron Wolf. What a dude. What a dude. See? Never a betrayal from Iron Wolf. Only from the waiting staff. Laney. Yeah. Drinks. Yeah. Yeah, you got nothing else to do other than drinks. Oh, floor three. Hang about. This might explain it. They're going all the way up to floor three. That's taking them away from where they need to be. Oh, no. Bring on, bring on, bring on. No, 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 There is nothing on floor three for you to do anyway, guys, so... But they might be going up there to clean. That's the only thing. Um, so, yeah. Stop it, you lot. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of and admittedly a stormy day, which does reduce the number of people that come in. The hotel wins. The hotel wins. What can I say? To leave them in. Food, drink, but most importantly, a very nice cozy place to sleep. Look at all these sleepy fuckers. <laughs> yes. Naughty. Interesting height difference. <laughs> A monk. <laughs> Some interesting characters in the Lever Men, that's for sure. But it's an interesting staff. And it's an interesting uh, in chefs as well. And stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so ladies and gentlemen it is a very big thank you and a goodbye from me and it is a goodbye from all those of us here in the Lever Men. And we are going to be left in now, uh, because that is tradition. Nobody goes home ever and leave them in. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you for whatever's next. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.